you're not watching this live, continue watching because you might be new to the channel because we have like 11,000 new subscribers this month alone. So what's up to all the new subscribers? We go live usually once a week. It was supposed to be Wednesday, but with all the traveling I've been doing and all the cool stuff we've been doing, I kind of go live when it works best for the channel. I just got back from heli snowboarding. And so it was important that I, make sure I mute my computers. It was important that I like had a day, not only to rest, but I used the 360 camera. Where did I put it? I filmed the every single heli job with a 360 camera. And I film everything technically with 360 camera to go for a max. <clears throat> but I filmed every heli drop with the Insta360 1X2. It's a crazy name, but it's this fancy little 360 camera right here. This camera currently holds the magical footage. But since I filmed everything in, in 360, I got to edit the 360 footage, then put that footage into the editor and then edit that. So it's a lot of work. And so I needed another day for the most epic heli video of all time, hopefully. Uh, the heli riding was super sick. However, um, we did the hike day and with the hiking, we had a really cool guide, uh, Colton, who took us to some extreme terrain, the hardest terrain. I cannot wait. The hike, literally the hardest terrain I've ever snowboarded in my entire life. Uh, so shout out to, to Colton for doing that. And, um, it's going to be an epic video. Even Benton was like, I like this more than the heli day. This was insane. And so just making sure I got all my windows open for Venmo and Streamlabs. If you guys want to drop a donation and want me to get 100%, that blue tab that's there is my, uh, the pinned comment is my Venmo and my Streamlabs. So you can drop a donation there, get 100% of those donations. Otherwise, if you drop a super chat, YouTube does take 30%. We never complain about any donation, but just letting you know. Uh, Jordan Brew is in the house, of course, and I saw that Russell was here. Uh, uh, Olivin is here, and um, yeah, let's get this party started. I'm excited. Uh, Kai says, "Who skis or snowboard?" I think I think 99.9% .9 of the people in this chat today are going to be skiers and snowboarders. Uh, ben Brock is here. What up, dude? Uh, Jordan said, "Just ordered my first snowboard. I cannot wait to put my." Oil Evolution sticker on it. Yeah, Jordan, when you get that, dude, um, send me a photo so I can give you a shout out. Flying Brian's in the house. What up, uh, Flying Brian? And then our boy Greg, of course. Greg, what up, dude? I'm so excited for the East Coast trip. So the way the trips are working, we're going to be in Colorado for about a week and a half, and then we're going to Washington. And that's going to be cool. We're going to rip in Washington, then come back, and then go to the East Coast. And um, we'll be in New Jersey, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, uh, what's it called? Vermont and New York. We'll be ripping the East Coast, week on the East with our boy Greg, which we're, we're all super stoked for that. Where's the merch link? Ooh, you want the merch link? I got you. <clears throat> Since someone asked literally for the merch link, I'm gonna do stickers first. You wanna grab an Evolution sticker? This is how you do it which is just as good as a donation, guys. It supports the dream. Um, but today, I released camo, pink camo evolution sticker for all the ladies out there. So if you're a lady in the chat or a dude that likes pink, uh, the pink camo are available. Uh, Downhill Performance and Tuning is the only person with the pink camo sticker for his lady. I hooked him up a little early. And I also released this marble. It's like a marble camo top type one. I don't know. One, I'm releasing, so these are the last of the first like trial with new vinyl. I literally have rolls and rolls and rolls of sick brand new vinyl uh, that Bobby picked out a bunch to, to share with you guys. But that's for the stickers, that link that I just shared right there if anyone wants to grab an Evolution sticker. If you're looking for like a hoodie, t-shirt, long sleeve, hat, beanie, any of the warmest merch in the game, you're going to find that on my Teespring. And so check it out. And then we got donations flying in. I saw that we had a super chat. Brad Silcock with a $2 super chat, dude. Starting the donations going. Thank you so much, man. He says, been a minute, but made this one. Brad, I'm stoked that you made it to this one. Yeah, we've been missing you on the streams, my, my dude. We always enjoy. I don't know if everyone... I 
I don't know if everyone's always remembered, but I like remember you guys, if that makes sense. I might not know your names like off the top of my head, but once I see that, that once I read it and like I see that profile picture, I'm like, oh yeah, Brad Silk. Like, like, let's go. And then obviously like Kyle, who just dropped a $5 Venmo donation in the house. He says, hey, just wondering if you had any pre-snowboarding routine or stretches. I should. I don't. What I have been doing, let me show you. is post, post snowboarding. I got this thing. I think I've showed this before. So I got this guy right here. E there you can, it has heads for everything. You can like, just, just make all the stuff that hurts feel better. So I got th that guy right here. for post and I also got, I've been trying to get into foam rolling and you know, get into that whole lifestyle of rolling around on the ground. So I got, um, I got this guy right here, which does the same, it like vibrates and then you're like, get on the ground, you roll on it. Ooh. Oh, this thing like cranks like, uh, I'm gonna leave these out and use them tonight. My body's a little tight. <clears throat> but I've been slowly getting into the um, better, better for myself uh, type routines, if that makes sense. And I need to do more prior to going out to the mountain. Yeah. Right now, time is my enemy. I just don't have a ton of time to do everything, if that makes sense. Um, between editing and then going actually riding and spending time with the family. Nice. Like something I don't have time to do body recovery. Like I wish I did. Uh, Jack uh, Kellogg with a $2 donation. Thank you so much, man. He says, bet a minute for me too. Appreciate it. Jack, stoked that you're back. Even Nelson Orlando, Florida uh, is back. Good to see you back in the chat, Nelson. With a $3 donation, he says, boost, bump with the little pair. That's like a, a super sticker, I think is what they call those. Dude, thank you so much for snagging one of those. And then, uh, Rife Life is here. What up, Rife Life? We got another Venmo donation. Uh, from Eric Palesco, $2 donation on Venmo. Thank you so much, my dude. Says, love the channel and the stream. When are you going to be in New Jersey? So we will be in New Jersey the... I need a calendar. Um... And pull up the calendar on my phone or my laptop. The of February, the 18th through the 24th. <laughs> so we'll be in New Jersey riding big snow on the 18th. So I think that's the only time we're snowboarding in New Jersey is at big snow. We're going to fly in and then ride big snow and then get on our way to the rest of the adventure. <coughs> our boy Austin, he dropped his notorious $2 super chat. Austin, dude, thank you so much for the $2. Austin, who I didn't finish replying back to today, threw his first backflip in a long time. So shout out to Austin, hucking a backy. I need to throw a backflip. I probably would have threw one tomorrow, but we had to change our mountain. If there's a good jump tomorrow, I'll back. I'll do a backy. And then Jordan Brew with a dollar donation on Streamlabs, man. Thank you so much for the donation. He goes, oh, by the way, uh, I'm for sure going to be getting that tattoo of the evolution within the next two to three months. I'm also going to send a Department of Glacier sweatshirt for you um, and Roman sometime the next month. Uh, may I ask what size you are? If it's from Teespring, I'm a large on the sweatshirt. Um, and dude, so did you get an evolution tattoo? Let's go. You will be the second person to do that, by the way. Uh, and they kind of count. Well, my little brother has the, has, literally has, this is my silhouette. My little brother has that tattooed on him. So it'd be the, yeah, Bobby's right. The third person. Are the hoodies waterproof? No, the evolution ones are your standard, what, cotton? 
Babe? Yeah, they're like 100% cotton sweaters. Yeah, they're like 100% cotton sweaters. Um, eventually, we're going to have like legit, legit hoodies and, and stuff. I'm looking it's coming. Bobby was looking up some merch and stuff. And we're going to work with Austin to uh, to get to get some merch getting better. Flying Brian with a $3 super chat, dude. Thank you so much, man. He says, what gloves do you use with the uh, ESC mittens? I don't use any. Or what What glove leash? Oh, Flying Brian, I have no idea, my dude. I just, I've had those glove leashes. He's talking about the little dangle cord um, from the glove. I've had the same ones forever. I can't even tell you how, how long. What? Like literally like 11 years I've had those wow. same glove yeah. leashes. I wish there was like a company that sold glove leashes. Maybe we should get into some glove leashes. Glove leashes change the game, oh, yeah. by the way. Uh, the friend gang says, when you go to Minnesota, I don't know if I'm going to make a Minnesota trip this year. Just makes it a little hard. Uh, Kate with a $10 super chat coming in hot and heavy. Kate, thank you so much. Uh, said, sure. Dot, dot, dot. Come back to the East coast after a snowstorm and or two. So you can't call it the ice coast. Hey, Kate, you know me. <laughs> We, uh, every time I've gone to the East Coast, I've gotten good snow. So this ice coast everyone keeps talking about, it's a rumor. I don't, I don't believe it. I haven't seen it yet. But uh, Kate, thank you so much for the $10 donation. That's he that's going towards the ice coast. All these donations uh, will be going to that that trip. And uh, thank you so much, Kate. Yeah, I, I really would love to go out to the East Coast and get puked on and have a sick time. Because we're going to... Um, dun, dun, dun. why am I looking? I have it all written down. Okay, this is what we're riding on the East Coast. On the 18th, we're riding Big Snow. On the 19th, we're riding Hunter, um, Bel Air, and Jiminy. We're doing three on the 19th, a three resort day. On the 20th, we're doing Stowe. On the 21st, we're doing Killington. On the 22nd, we're doing Whiteface. Um, and then we're going to do Mount Pisaga, Pisaga at night, possibly, if they have night riding. On the 23rd, we're going to do Gore. And then on the 24th, we're going to do Winham. I'll keep that near me because you guys are going to ask again. And then Frank with a $5 Venmo donation, dude. Thank you so much, my dude, for supporting the dream. Uh, he said, Frank, or Frank said, Yo, Jonathan, thanks for all the great daily content. What's good with the East Coast trip? When, where will you be riding in Mass and Vermont? I live in Mass and would love to meet up with you. So first off, Frank, I would love uh, to meet up with you guys. Anyone that wants to come, that's why I'm announcing these dates. If you want to come rip with me, um, I'll keep you posted. I'll, we'll do what we did when we were in Wisconsin. We posted an Instagram story with a list of where we're gonna ride. And if we need to make adjustments, we'll make those adjustments. So I'm gonna say it again, cause Frank dropped $5 to hear it again. Uh, the 18th will be at Big Snow. The 19th will be at Hunter, Bel Air, and Jiminy. Uh, the 20th will be at Stowe. The 21st will be at Killington. The 22nd will be at Whiteface and possibly Mount Pis Pisgah, if they have night riding. The 23rd will be at Gore. I don't even know what that, Pis I, I mean, I wrote it down like crap. Um, 23rd will be at Gore and the 24th will be at Winham. So we're back. I got a phone call. I put on do not disturb. So hopefully that, that stops a, another call back. This time was from Sean, who also should know that I'm live. All the, all my friends that helped me with the YouTube channel or, or like active parts of the YouTube channel always call me when I'm live. We literally lost 40 people because of that phone call. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> uh, Switch Pro 13 is back in the house. He says, this is for Roman. Hi, Roman. Roman's on the couch, uh, or on the couch, on the bed. Literally, my bed's like right over there. Um, Roman's on the couch. Bed. The bed. Grumpy. Uh, Grace Hill says, how's Benton? Benton's doing great. Uh, he went to the doctor before going heli skiing, got cleared to just snowboard and to not go into the air. Um, so Benton is definitely doing a lot better. Um, but you will not see backflips or flipping Benton 
in a, in a, in a good amount of time because that dude needs to, to chill. Because if he hits his head again, who knows what could happen. Like getting knocked out, concussions, all that stuff. That's, that's a pretty big deal. And so... Grandpa's calling you again? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, Cooper, so I, I would, I'm not, we're not going to change the dates because I planned it with Greg who um, knows the area well and he helped coordinate the trip. And so the mountains and the dates are kind of set um, and because Greg is, uh, Greg's driving us around. Greg has the accommodations. Like Greg is, Greg is our go-to dude. So shout out to Greg. Um, he helped us with the big snow trip this last summer. Dude is a legend. <coughs> and so, uh, yes, sorry. I'm going to Josh says, Hey, give me a trick to learn on my next trip to the mountain. I can currently Indy and 180. Uh, Josh do a nose grab my dude. Let's see if you can get a nose gap. And Jacob Williams coming in huge with a $20 super chat. Jacob, man, thank you so much. He says, hey, hey, man, keep keep it. Hi. Hey, man, keep it shredding. Hope to see you out in Michigan. I do want to make a Michigan trip. Um, but I, as you guys know, or if you don't know, my wife is pregnant. And being pregnant is not easy, uh, especially with a little dude. So we're going to try and we have a couple of trips planned out but we'll see if we need, we're going to keep planning trips or if i'm going to stay back home with the wife and make sure she's good to go but what's up are you coloring oh you got you got lick it off mom's bringing you a napkin um i'd love to get to michigan you guys in michigan keep asking and i hear there's some sick resorts in michigan uh, Grant says, I just bought some Outdoor Master oh snow goggles. God, Let's go, dude. Know. Outdoor Masters are sick. Oh but I now ride for Kuno Optics. Hold on. Let me help. Settle down, buddy. You're okay. He's hangry and he's tired. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but he's having a little dude meltdown. Um, let me grab these goggles. All right, so Kuno Optics is a, what do you call it? A grandfather, a, um, when a brand is underneath a brand. So Outdoor Master owns Kuno Optics. So I'm still riding for Outdoor Master, but these are their new line of goggles. They're a more high-end goggle. They're super fresh. This is the Colorado strap right here. As you can see, there's the Colorado logo. And... They're still magnetic lenses, but they're kind of a bigger frame. They are over the glasses goggles. So if you wear goggles, you can wear them over your glass, or if you wear glasses, you can wear these goggles over the, the glasses. They have so many states. So this is, I believe this is the Alaska one. This is what I wore during the heli because I left my entire helmet bag at home. I wasn't wearing a helmet during the heli trip, the hike day, the um, the second when we were at the second smallest ski resort in Colorado. In Colorado. But uh, these, so see, these are a different lens too. These are the dark lens. This is the blue lens. Magnetic. These things are fire. These are linked in the description. I'm actually gonna throw the link. If you guys wanna check them out for yourselves, I'll grab it right now. I think they're $70 goggles, so they're a little more expensive than Outdoor Masters, but they're, once again, a higher quality. The lenses are higher quality than the Outdoor Master goggles. And they're pretty fire. Now, I'm going to be doing a huge goggle giveaway, like a six-pair goggle giveaway coming up. Oh, this is another Colorado. So be ready for me to announce that giveaway. I didn't get it set up before this live stream. But yeah, there's gonna be a huge six pair goggle giveaway. And um, be ready. Uh, 
All right, so Aaliyah has a great question. She says, do you know if the Outer Master lenses fit the new goggles like they are compatible at all? They are not. So let me grab a pair of Outer Masters and you can really see the difference. So this is an old pair of Outdoor Masters. I don't know if you guys can see that size difference on these. So this is a bigger, the bigger frame all together. I guess the best way to do it is to remove a lens. So this is an Outdoor Master lens. And this is the new goggle. So they're a different shape. The size is, I guess the size is pretty similar. This just feels bigger because once again, they're designed to go over the glasses as well. So they're a little, um, stand out a little bit further than the Outdoor Masters do. But yeah, no, the lenses are not compatible. But if you want Outdoor Masters, these goggles are still sick, $40 goggles. Yeah, buddy, Outdoor Masters. That is the, the new sponsor of the channel. Any tips on backside board slides, Noah asks. Dude, Noah, I got you a trillion times. Put the grabs on. That's the gimme step in my grabs. Oh, you're gonna take those? Daddy, daddy, that's the gloves, daddy. Those are the gloves. These are gloves. Mm-hmm. They are safe. I get a pair. You can't, you don't got pants on. Go ask mommy to help you with your pants, then you come say hi to the kids. Oh, okay. Their pants are right by your feet. Look down. Your pants are right there. So right here. Yep, why don't you grab them ask mommy to help you. Oops. All right. If you, are, right now. Well, if you are struggling with your backside board slides and you want to get better, this link right here is how to board slide video. Uh, the biggest thing that people struggle with their, with their backside board slides is they don't have their counter rotation dialed. And this video talks about counter rotation, how to get comfortable doing it onto a box, and then how to jump into a box. So. Extreme says, I rode the Far East run at Copper Mountain and never knew it was that good at East Village. We were like the only ones all day, no lines. Extreme stones, let's go, dude. That side of the mountain's not terrible on a powder day. That's usually where I head because the, um, they, I feel like Copper never gets the back open on a powder day, which is a, a super bummer. And then the front side's never steep enough to, to ride POW. So I usually go to that direction on, on, the, on a POW day. Is there going to be another giveaway? Yeah, so I'm going to give away six pairs of, these, of the uh, Kuno Optic goggles. But it's going to be in a vlog. So make sure you're like watching the, the videos to know when it's dropping. Any th three, any three with grab tips, any three with grab tips. Dylan, most people with the grabs, they end up trying to bend over and reach for them when you need to be bringing your knees up for grabs. So bring your knees up. And then with spinning, I struggle with grabs with spinning still. I'm working on it. And what I'm learning is the reason why I struggle with doing a grab while spinning is I try to grab too soon. I need to like spin, get in my rotation, then grab and then finish it. So things I still got to work on. Uh, Barden says, my sister wants to learn to do nose butters. What do you nose press? My sister wants to know how to do nose butters. How do you nose press? Okay. If your sister wants to do nose butters, the best thing for her is... I need to 
make a new thumbnail for this video because this video honestly is going to help a ton of people, but it's the eight pressure points of your snowboard. If you want to do a butter nose roll 360, you need to know all eight, not really all eight, you need to know the, the four pressure points of your nose. If you don't know those four pressure points, you're never going to be able to, to do it. So the video I just put right there is the eight pressure points of your snowboard. Watch those videos and it will definitely help you out. You watch any of the X Games, Slope Style was insane. Uh, I did not watch any of the X Games. I have no time, I honestly have no time to watch anything. Especially, I feel like even now I got less and less time. I, even, I can't even like watch the YouTube videos that I used to enjoy watching. So I, I caught zero of the X Games. I'm sure, I'll, I mean, I'll watch all the highlights. I'll watch all the winning runs and stuff. But I did not get to watch any of it live. I know women's... Um, Slope style. No, Big Air was today. Women's Big Air. Kenny Shellnut, dude, with a five dollar donation. Thank you so much. He says, "Congrats on almost sixty k." Can you say that yet? We're almost to sixty k. That's huge. Uh, you're gonna crush your goal of seventy. I hope we break it. And he says, "When is Shelby's birthday?" So Shelby, my dog, my second dog. You know, most of you guys know Shadow. Well, we picked up a puppy right when quarantine and like the coronavirus all broke out. We got Shelby um, right before then. Shelby's birthday is Christmas Eve, December 24th. So Shelby is officially a, a one-year-old dog, still definitely a puppy, super puppy brain. But uh, Kenny, dude, thank you so much for the $5 donation. You're the man, Kenny. Kenny's been dropping. Kenny's the one that made our, um, our map, our where we've gone to map. Which, oh, I need to also mark off two Colorado resorts. I went to two new Colorado ski resorts this week. Um, but if you want to see, like, the Colorado, if you want to see, so this is a map of all the ski resorts in the United States. Well, Kenny turned it into a website. It has it's the map of the United States with all the ski resorts and it, all the ones that we've written are green and all the ones we need to get to are red. It is super sick, and Kenny's the man. And so that's that link right there. Shout out to our boy, Kenny Shellnut. If you type Kenny Shellnut into YouTube, you'll find a pretty sick YouTube channel. Ricky Bobby coming in hot, fast, and heavy with a $10 super chat. Ricky Bobby has been showing up every live stream, dropping a donation. Thank, uh, thank you so much, Ricky Bobby. Appreciate you with the $10. He said, hey, man, just got back from our first snowboard trip in Michigan. Ate it a lot. Uh, had a blast. Got my stomping got my stomping down but struggling to turn on toe edge any advice also installing stickers right now ricky bobby let's go i'm so stoked that you had such a good time ripping now i've shared this video um so many times but if you're struggling with your toe side turn this is the video to watch Dude, this video is popping off 138,000 views. How to S turn on your snowboard. Ricky Bobby, this video right here, check this one out. I really, I break it down heel side and toe side on how to connect your turns and how to turn it. Um, I'm sorry that you ate it and you didn't get hurt, by the way. Um, the biggest thing with your toe side is when you crush the bug with your lead knee and your shoulder, you start going down. Go across the run. Don't be so eager to point it straight down the run. That's what makes it terrifying. Um, so check that video out right there, Ricky Bobby, and it will help you. And then uh, Christopher, Christopher, um, with a $10 donation as well, dude. Thank you so much. He says, killer content. Love this smallest resort video. Looked like a great time. Hope Benson is doing well. Benson is doing a lot better. I'm stoked you liked, we snowboarded the smallest ski resort in America, in the United States, and it's in Colorado, and I didn't know that. It's uh, it's completely free to ride at, it's called Lee's Ski Hill. It's in o Ore, Colorado, Ure, Colorado. It's incredible. We had an insane time. There was this local kid there that was hitting that tiny jump, and I mean, he was hitting it, had to be like, 20 feet 10 feet in the air huge i didn't think a little kid could pop so hard he was flying through the air it was amazing but uh uh christopher dude thank you so much for the donation i'm stoked that you liked that video if you guys haven't seen that video yet check it out it's popping off uh sahib 
Nia Sahib with a two dollar Venmo don or stream super chat. Sahib with a two dollar super chat, dude. Thank you so much. He says, "Have you ever heard of China Peak in California?" I have not. It looks like it's by. It's kind of by Mammoth, is what it looks like. I've ne I've never heard of that place. We'll we'll ride there eventually. I've gone to Mammoth, which is incredible. Um, but dude, shout out, shout out to the tiny ski resorts. They're so fun to go. I have so much fun going to tiny ski resorts. In the Lee Ski Hill one, I said it and I meant it. I was like, I'm more excited to ride Lee Ski Hill than go heli snowboarding because it was just, I knew I was going to the smallest um, resort in America, like, which is cool. Like, that's a really, and I didn't know it was in Colorado. I just, something that's so sick. We just got a um, $5 super chat from Swift, Swifty, but I'm going to answer Mr. Randon's Randon's question really quick because it's about summer camp. He asked, how old do you need to be to go to summer camp? The question for that, and I know there's so many kids that watch this channel and I'd love to do a kid's camp, but the that's so much harder. I'm dropping the link right now for summer camp. It's right there. Uh, you have to be 18 or older to go to summer camp. You have to be, a, be an adult because I'm trying to teach you how to snowboard on the mountain. But once we get off the mountain, I'm not trying to babysit or be in charge of you. You're an adult. You're in charge of your own actions and what you want to do and what you want to eat and all that stuff. However, at summer camp, we will be feeding you and camp is going to be incredible. There's only, there's two weeks of camp. They're in June. And if you don't show up, um, how do I want to say this? I'm going to get you guys the exact dates. If or there's only 10 people showing up to camp per week. So if you don't sign up for camp, you might miss out. Or you know what I'm saying? If you delay on signing up for camp, you might miss out. But camp covers all of your food, where you're staying, your transportation from the Airbnb to the mountain, all your lift tickets, all the coaching, all the activities. It does not cover your flight to Oregon. If you don't live in Oregon, and it doesn't cover your transportation to the Airbnb. But once you're at the Airbnb, I got you covered. Uh, don't you worry about it. But so the first week of camp is June 6th through the 12th. You show up on the 6th, we ride the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, and then you leave the 12th. The second week of camp is June 13th through the 19th. So you show up on the 13th. We snowboard the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, the 19th, or, or the 18th, and then you leave the 19th. Summer camp's gonna be sick. People are already signing up for camp, so make sure you don't miss out on summer camp. Sign up for it. It's gonna be the most incredible time of your life because hood is a unicorn it's like this is the thing about mount hood is like not only you're going to be snowboarding in june in like amazing conditions but you're also going to be able to um just experience one of the coolest places out there all right swifty with a five dollar uh, uh super chat dude thank you so much says, hello from California near Heavenly. I love Heavenly. The Groove Park is my jam. Moving to Denver for college in June. So I hope to board with you guys someday. Dude, possibly. If you're moving to Colorado, you'll definitely see me. Maybe Roman too. Love the content. That'd be sick. Do a Roman group shred once coronavirus isn't a thing. So normally I do group shreds once a month in Colorado through my Patreon. Shout out to all my Patreons. You guys are incredible. Uh, and... I love all my Patreons, but because of COVID, you don't got your pants on yet. Don't stand on that. Because of COVID, we haven't been doing the group set and stuff like that, but uh, I'll be riding Colorado for the next week and a half, so there's a great chance if you're going to be in Colorado that you'll be able to see me riding Keystone, Copper, or Breck. That's where I'm going to be really kind of ripping around. We will be riding... Howelson Hill? In Steamboat? It's like a tiny ski resort in Steamboat is the plan. And Chris Moore dropping a $10 donation. Chris, thank you so much for the super chat, my dude. He says, always love the content. Heading to Durango in the middle of March. Going to hit up Telluride Purgatory and hopefully Wolf Creek. Um, we'll need to check out this that ski hill in Oray. Roman is killing it. You definitely should check it out. Um... Because you're in that area. Yeah, definitely, if you're going down to Durango area, you're going to be by Lee's Ski Hill. It's super sick. Ure, Colorado is a really cool place, too. It's also next to the Million Dollar Highway, which is like one of the top 
10 most dangerous highways out there. It's a, it's a gnarly highway. It'd be worth just taking a little lap. Um, there's also a ski resort in Silverton, and then obviously there's Silverton with the heli snowboarding and everything. But Chris, dude, send it. I still need to get down to Purgatory and rip that. Um, and you, Roman is killing it. We went snowboarding again today. Sorry, a little bit of gas. We went snowboarding again today with Roman, and Roman was absolutely ripping the mountain. We worked on me not holding him or using that like dog leash type thing uh, for Roman. And then someone said, check the Venmo. Let's go. Okay. So Lexi with a $15 donation on Venmo. Lexi, thank you so much. Uh-oh. Just pick him up. Here. You're making me nervous. Let's throw your pants on. My gloves are gonna fall down. Then grabs. Then grabs two. Give me a foot. Then grabs two. All right, give me a foot. There are the grabs, Daddy. Hmm? Daddy, what is this, Daddy? What is what? Daddy, what is this? You know what that is. Ugh. Daddy, what is this? Sorry about this, guys. Ugh. Daddy. All right, here we go. Come on. Oopsies. My glove fell down. Daddy, where is this, Daddy? Those are your gloves. Daddy, where is this, Daddy? Daddy, where is this? Daddy, can't get his socks gone. You don't need your socks on. Okay. Lexi with a $15 Venmo donation. Thank you so much, Lexi. Daddy, she said, the Nikki up here. Oh. Always make it hard to shout out a donation. Daddy, pick the daddy, pick the that one. You want to say hi to your friends? Okay. Do you want to paint this something? We'll paint after Daddy's done on the live stream, or you can paint on on Daddy's bed. Mm, I'll paint it on a Daddy's desk. Yeah, I know you want to paint on Daddy's desk. That's why you gotta do it after the live stream. After the live stream. He's joking me. <laughs> I drop you. I know. I need to re read Lexi's donation. So I give me a second. My Hulk smash. Hulk, Hulk smash. Hulk, Hulk smash. Hulk. Ah, Hulk smash. Oh. <laughs> All right. Lexi said, did you go to Beaver Creek today? Question mark. Best pal we've had all season. I didn't know Beaver Creek got that much snow. I did not go. We went. <laughs> Where did we go snowboard today, Roman? Oh, he's choking me. I can't breathe. I can't. <laughs> ah. um, we went to a basin today and we rode the bunny hill. So no powder today. But... <laughs> but we rode mad powder in Silverton, so I'm not too, too sad. You're so funny, dude. And then Eric also dropped another $2 donation. I know. Uh, Eric, dude, thank you for the $2 donation. He says, Big Snow is sick. You should go to Mountain Creek that day. It's partnered with Big Snow. Has a crazy train park. P.S. Men's Super Pipe is on. Let's go. Cool. I know. I um, Men's Daddy. Super Pipe is insane. Those are the gnarliest snowboarders Roman on the planet. Roman Buckhouse. <laughs> Roman Buckhouse? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> uh, Eric, we'll, I will look into um, Mountain Creek. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, my dude. I'm going to check... <laughs> check Streamlabs real quick. Make sure I didn't miss any Streamlabs donations. And we're good. Ow. Was that funny? Yeah. JPM yeah. Filming says, how does Roman feel about being a sibling and you are being a dad of two? Or you being a dad of two? Roman. JPM wants to know, are you excited for your baby sister? <laughs> Roman, 
Tell them about your baby sister. It's baby sisters. Where's your baby sister at? In the tummy. It's in the tummy, yeah. yeah. How big is your baby sister? Oh, that's me over here. That... How big is your baby sister? I can stand up. How big is your baby sister? <laughs> Roman's excited. He tells everyone about his baby sister. I am so excited to be a dad of two because it's a baby girl. I'm not saying I wouldn't have been excited if it was a, a, a dude. But I really wanted a baby girl because I want to be able to experience all the stuff of being a dad to a girl. You know, like walking her down the aisle if she, if she gets married. Um, buying her prom dresses and... Just, I don't know, being a dad to a girl, it's it's different than being a dad to a boy, and I'm really excited about that. Right? Oh. Okay, doubt she's going to do this. This is cool to be a dad of a boy, because you get to throw him around and wrestle him, but she, I'm so excited to do, like, tea parties and play with unicorns. And, You're done. You're done. So it's, it's going to be special. It's going to be different. And, of course, if okay. she loves shredding, like, having a little girl that rips okay. just as hard as a, a, like, anyone else on the mountain is going to be so sick. Ethic008 with a $2 super chat, dude. Thank you so much, my man. He says, what's up, Jonathan? Love the videos. Got a t-shirt. Let's go, dude. Warmest merch in the game, man. Make sure you send me a photo. I'll give you a gear shout-out on one of the videos. Um, really appreciate all the donations, guys. And just snagging the merch. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> they heard me. They record. I want to play you guys. You want to play with me? How about we wrestle after the live stream? We can go wrestle on your trampoline. Wrestle on your trampoline. After the live stream. Okay. Okay. Can you go hang out with mommy and help her color? <sighs> Call my mommy. Come here. Come here. Come on. Here we go. Oh, come here, Pear. Pink. That one. Oops, he's my juice bottle. What is your favorite snowboard boot? Um, I ride the ride the ride cadence boots. That's a female snowboard boot though. Um in my description I have my snowboard boot, then the men's version of the snowboard boot, which is, I'll share it with you. Um, snowboard boots are so preference because everybody's foot is different. Like for me, I needed to be in a female snowboard boot. For most guys out there, they need to be in men's snowboard boot. But it, whatever works for you, uh, Ethic with another $2 super chat, dude. Thank you so much, man. He says, and a sticker, the one you have on your helmet. Let's go, the red and white one. I'm about to change that one to a different sticker. We are, we have so much cool new vinyl coming out. I'm so excited. I, I want to get it and open it for you guys and show it to you. But if I do that, then it's going to not be nice, tightly rolled and everything. But just so you guys know, uh, we released these camo pink camo stickers for all the, the ladies out there if you like pink camo, or guys if you like pink camo. And then this marble version. So the marble is pretty sick as well. If you're classy. What website do you buy stickers? If you're interested in snagging an Evolution sticker, I'll share it with you. Just so you know, it's in the link of every video. It's also usually the pinned comment. I've been pinning the camp information a bunch for summer camp because I'd love for you guys to come to summer camp and snowboard with me. It's incredible. Do you have a Discord? Ooh, I do have a Discord. I'm over here just sharing links left and right. The Discord um, link is right. I think this will work. Bring all your markers over here. Okay, help pick a mommy. Nope, that is not the right Discord link. Don't, don't, that Discord link is incorrect. Maybe I have it somewhere else. Yeah, here's the Discord link. I need to fix that one down here.
This is the correct Discord link right there if you want to join the Discord. Wow. Uh, we have a crazy Discord community. What are those? Crazy in a good way. One shot kid said, I'm going to get about a foot of powder. I can't wait to ride it. Those new stickers are fire, by the way. Keep up the great work. I can't wait to see the heli boarding video. Do you remember me? Dude, one shot kid, I always remember you, my dude. Uh, I cannot wait for you guys to see the heli board videos. I can't wait to make them. Once again, I filmed every single drop in 360, so it's going to be a little bit more editing to kind of put them all together. But... Uh, so they're gonna be a bigger edit, but they're gonna be hopefully cooler videos because I did that. And uh, Gabriel with a five dollar super chat, thank you so much, my dude. He says your channel has brought me so much joy during quarantine, dude. I love hearing that. I tried my best, especially when quarant like everybody was quarantined, to still get out and make awesome content for you guys. So I'm so that you're still like it's still helping you. That makes that, that to me that was like why I was doing it. I was like, I could just sit in the house and quarantine, but I'm allowed to go out and do like exercise activity. And I'm, I'm going to go work. And, and I went out and made videos and so that you enjoyed them. He says, I hope you and the family are feeling well during these trying times. We're feeling great. Uh, Gabriel, we've, uh, we've had an incredible, incredible 2020 and 2021 has been off to a great start as well. So, um, we're just kicking it and keep going forward. Uh, Ethic008 with the $2 super chat. Again, dude, you're popping off this live stream. Uh, he says, what are the pro tune settings on your GoPro? Ooh, I don't do any GoPro pro tunes. On my GoPro Max, I literally run everything like how it comes out of the box, like the default GoPro uh, white balance, the default um, color, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm, I just, I have no time to do any extra editing to color. So I don't mess with any of the Pro Tune settings uh, on the GoPro. I also destroyed my other GoPro Max. This one has like a like a very 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 small scratch on it. Um, you can't tell when you use it. And then the other one, the one I was mainly using with all the cool stickers all over it, is destroyed. And I got to send that back into GoPro, which is a super bummer. But Insta, Insta 361, or Insta 360 sent me a new Insta 361 X2, which I'm really excited about. I have, now I have three 360 cameras. Like, maybe I'll give one of these away. This is the older version of the Insta 361 X. I have two of these. So maybe I should give one away. I will be giving away six pairs of goggles. Uh, this upcoming week, so be ready for that too. Connor says, have you ever tried split boarding if resorts close again, which I hope they won't, it could be really cool. Yeah, Connor, I don't have a split board. I actually want to pick up the Travis Rice um, Orca split board as I think the split board I want to pick up. Uh, I do want to get into split boarding mainly because me and Daniel want to, if you're a part of the Discord, you know who Daniel is. Uh, I want to, me and Daniel want to go snowboard abandoned ski resorts in Colorado and to get up most of those we'll have to split board it's a big reason too why I got all the avalanche gear all the backcountry gear why I'm doing like the heli snowboarding and um I will be taking like all my av avalanche classes and stuff like that so we can go ride these abandoned ski resorts and make really awesome videos for you guys something got my mouth <laughs> piece of dust or something <laughs> Cody says uh can you tell me if rocker flat rocker uh, is a nice board for beginner carving and getting into park Cody it, it's yeah it's not a bad board but the rocker is going to do is going to help you from catching an edge now when you get into the park it's not going to help you pop really high but if you want to like tail press or nose press or learn some butters it'll be a good profile for you Ooh, Gabriel. I don't know if I have a favorite brand of snowboard. My favorite snowboard is the one that I'm standing on. 
But uh, no, I haven't like committed to a snowboard brand that I'm like, oh, this is the best brand ever. And like, I'm only going to ride this. Um, also, like I want to release my own snowboard soon. I think that'd be really cool to like, I'll have three profiles, like a reverse camber, a camber and a pow board um, to cover all three styles of snowboarding. And I, I, I want to release like my own snowboards and maybe like drop five boards of each, each season and with cool designs on them. And, um, that will be coming soon and jackets and like legit snowboard gear is where I'm trying to get to as well. I really don't want to just be selling merch. You know, I really want to have like, um, six stuff. There's not going to be a giveaway on this live stream. I don't think so. Are you doing a giveaway on a live stream with goggles? No. So with the goggles, I'm going to be doing... Um, I've used it before. It's a giveaway website. And you like enter your email and you got to share the video. And then you got to go follow Kuno Optics. You got to follow me on Instagram. And like every action you take gets you more points. And then it randomly takes all the points you got and picks winners. And it's going to pick six winners of all the goggles. It's going to be sick. Oh. Kyle with a $2 uh, super chat, my dude says, check your Venmo. Checking it. Boom, $10 from Kyle. Kyle, dude, thanks for the $12 in total. You're the man. He says, can we do a sticker giveaway? All right, Kyle, we'll give a sticker away. Kyle is, wants to do a giveaway. It's live stream. It's happening. All right, let me pick a sticker. Blue. Or is this purple? That's purple. No, that's blue. No, this one's blue. That one's blue. The blue and the purple are hard to tell in here, but in the sun you can see really well. All right. Come uh, here. Don't spam. Everyone's spamming like me, 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 me. We're going to do it a different way. We're going to give the sticker away a different way. I'm going to pick, I'm just, because normally I like randomly select somebody and that's how I give it away. Um, I'm going to go back, back in the chat. I wonder if, t if, all right. Ted Simpson, are you still in the chat? Ted Simpson won. He asked some good questions. He said, well, first he said, you should get a go, or you should get sponsored by GoPro, my dude, which would be sick. I'd love to get sponsored by GoPro. He says, uh, hey, it's me again. When you ride with, your GoPro, do you, does yours not die? Um, it's battery, or does it battery not die? So my Go, everyone's GoPro batteries die, but I'm trying to find, here it is. But I use the GoPro Max mainly because it has a bigger battery. Look how big this battery is. My GoPro, I can usually go through a full day of snowboarding with only three GoPro batteries. I have six of these um, if needed, depending on how cold it is. So I don't have to change my batteries all the time. And then uh, Matt Frosty, dude, with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, my man. He says, when you come to the East Coast, come to Mountain Creek in New Jersey. The park scene is rad here. Keep killing it, my dude. I definitely want to check it out. Everyone keeps saying Mountain Creek. Uh, dude, thanks for the $10 donation. And right now, Mountain Creek's not on there. We're, we were going to go to Big Snow instead. But uh, we'll see. Once we get out there with Greg and we're ripping and we're doing stuff, we're going to do as much as we can to ride as much as we can. Uh, out on the East Coast. I'm, I'm already excited. I think it's nine resorts in the seven days that we're going to be out there. So we're going to be putting in the work. Uh, Joseph said, I just started snowboarding. That's so sick, dude. Keep ripping. Aliyah's got to jump off. Have a great night. Mr. Fulf says, going to Snow Creek tomorrow in Missouri psyched to see uh 
you st your stream right before getting stoked and watching the vlogs to get ready dude let's go i'd love to go out to snow creek um i because it's kind of like chilling by itself so it'd be sick to get out there my buddy cody who went to snowboard camp last year is there uh he sends me photos keep me updated on the terrain i know they just put in a park it's not their normal park because uh, they've had a really bad warm year like the most of the people in the u.s so uh dirty bike bob please don't spam the chat no i don't want to have to put you in timeout uh gabriel says what are your thoughts on the burton board do you think they're overhyped um no i think burton does build like good quality snowboards um i haven't the burton boards that i have ridden i haven't been too stoked on myself but uh I know a lot of people that live and die, like Benton, will only ride Burton snowboards and stuff like that. So, uh, Christian with a $5 uh, super chat, dude. Thank you so much. He says, hey, man, have you ever been to Echo Mountain? It's the first chair, res first chair resort next to Idaho Springs, and it's only $40 a day. Have you been there before? I've never been to Echo, and actually, I wanted to go to Echo this week uh, at some time. I think that'd be super sick to get out to Echo Mountain, and I will use the $5 you donated towards Echo Echo used to be a terrain park only mountain, um, but now they still build a park, but it's not what it used to be, I heard. But I need to go to Echo. Torstein, Ho Her the Torstein, Torstein Horgmo has a, a video of him riding Echo Mountain back in the day, and they had a fire park built. Um, I'm pretty bummed that I, I didn't get to go see it in its glory days. Rod the boat says my parents won't let me donate. Do you have, uh, do you like Powder Ridge Mountain in uh, Minnesota ever, even though it's small? So I've never been uh, the raw boat, but don't do don't worry. You don't have to donate. Um, Leah or Lexi, not Leah, Lexi with another donation, a ten dollar donation. Leah, thank you so much. She says. For uh, for pizza for the boys next day riding, Leah or Lexi. I keep saying Leah. Lexi, thank you so much for the ten dollar donation, and I will definitely make sure we get boy pizza for the boys with the ten dollars. I'm gonna save that for the for the New Jersey or the East Coast trip though, so me and Benson can share pizza on the trip with Greg. You should go to Powder Ridge in Minnesota. I don't want to get trapped in the the. You should go places or have you been here? You, you know, we get the, we, we have that happen. Um, so if you're interested in where I've gone and, um, currently the, the trips are Washington and the East coast right now, but if you want to know where I've gone snowboarding, here's a map, check it out. I missed a donation. Uh Oh, Sam with a $2 donation, Sam, thank you so much for the super chat, uh, bro. Appreciate it. Cody Lee Lily. Li Li Lies? Lilas? I'm sorry. My fiance and I are starting to uh, build our, or build, yeah, build our house in South Carolina. I would love for you to have, or I would love to have you and you, yours come out to the East Coast again. Really wish I could have caught you in New York. Cody, dude, it'd be sick to head back out that way. When we go back to North Carolina, uh, we want to ride Wolf Ridge, uh, Uber Gotlinburg, uh, Catalici, and Sapphire Valley. Sap Sapphire Valley? Sapphire. Sapphire Valley in North Carolina. We got to knock all those out. And then there is a ski resort in Alabama. Georgia, Alabama. Georgia, Alabama area. Cloud Mount. We got to get down there too. Ethic with another donation popping off. He says, you missed my donation back up. Uh, uh, back it up. I got your glasses. <laughs> all right. I missed it all the way back up. Keep going up. Keep going up. Man, I really missed that donation. The hardest thing... Uh oh, it won't let me go up anymore. The hardest thing about the $2 donations is they don't 
the um, on my end, they float up at the top, but the $2 ones only float up there for like a minute, if that. I don't see it. It won't let me go any higher. You like it? It's gone it's forever. Me. What, sweetie? It's Epic, I'm sorry. I missed it and I can't go back and see it. Maybe I can on this one if I take my timestamp back a little bit. Mm. No, it won't let me, it won't let me go back. I think I'm fired. I'm sorry. When's the heli video coming out? Dylan, I'm going to try and get it edited tonight. It's going to be hard. There's a lot because I haven't edited anything on it. And I filmed it all in 360, so I got to like double edit everything. But it'll be, it'll be worth it. Um, oh, I missed this one too on Streamlabs. Uh, Kexzy? Kayaxi with a five dollar Streamlabs donation. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well, man. I am doing absolutely great. Thank you so much for that five dollar donation on Streamlabs. I want the big black one. You do have a big black one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hope, you said, asked it if I had any tips for, for you when you try snowboarding. And my tip would be watch this video right here. How to S-turn. That's going to be your biggest help. South Metro Fire Buff said, I'm from Colorado, but have never been to your last video of ski resorts in Colorado. Yeah, Lee's Ski Resort. I've never been there either. I didn't even know that was a thing until uh, Daniel. I guess I knew it was on the map. Like I seen a bunch of ski resorts. And I was like, what? But Daniel like was like, dude, you got to go. It's like super tiny. And we also went to Craner Ski Hill in... Um, What's the name? Gunnison? It's only open, like, it's barely ever open because they never get enough snow. And it just so happened to be open this year, and it was so sick. The second smallest ski resort in Colorado. That one's 300 vertical feet, and Lee's Ski Resort in Colorado is 70 vertical feet. Uh, Jake said, do you know when my sticker should be oh, in Alberta, there. Canada? I won it on a live stream about two months ago. Is that the one that got sent back? We had a Canadian sticker sent back today. Boy, would it be mad over here? Nope. Uh, Jake, I don't know. We've been having a lot issues. We've been having a lot of stickers getting sent back because of bad addresses or... Um, mainly addresses. So we're, we're working on it. So if you ordered your sticker and you haven't got it within the last three weeks, I might've messaged you saying like, yo, your sticker got sent back. Let's double check the address. Happens sometimes. Uh, Jake, email me about it though. Uh, in the, in, email me about it back in the current thread. Uh, and I'll find out why. But also if you don't live in the U S and you order, a sticker, just know it takes about an additional week, when, if not longer, if you live in a different country. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe with coronavirus, they're letting stuff sit in a box for like a week and then they distribute. I don't know what they're doing. Cooper says, woods or park? I love it all. Like, I love park riding. I also love ripping some good trees. Um... Obviously, the snow's got to be good to send it in the trees. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love every aspect of snowboard. <laughs> fan of the Packers? Yeah, Evan, I'm a huge Packer fan, and I'm also sad. Yeah, super salty. I'm super salty right oh. now. I don't like losing. How to, or one track is it, how do you take scratches that are pretty deep? How do you fix them? Also, uh, where are you going to write, right? I don't know what RI is. So when I get a core shot or a big scrape in my snowboard, I give my snowboard to Michael, the ski doctor. He uses p and he fixes up all the scratches and everything in there. Michael's my, my dude. Um... If you have any issues with your snowboard, hit up Michael, the ski doctor, and he'll get you ready to go. Men's super pipe is on right now. Austin said, I ordered, or Austin said, merch I ordered from China had to quarantine in the airport in Long Beach for two weeks. Yeah, see, so if you're in another country right now because of coronavirus things are weird but if you're in another country right now evolution stickers ship free if you buy an evolution sticker if you buy 20 evolution stickers if you live in russia if you live in china if you live in japan if you live in anywhere they ship free i bought a little globe because we get stickers shipped all over the world it's incredible and so i wanted to like look at these countries that have ordered stickers and be like, wait, where is that? Like, where was it? I... I've shipped a sticker to Yemen. Um, I've shipped a sticker to Turkey. 
I've shipped a sticker to Mongolia. I've shipped a couple to Russia. I've done Norway, Sweden, and Finland have all uh, gotten stickers. Poland's gotten stickers. Germany's gotten stickers. France has ordered stickers. Spain. I've sent stickers to Italy. I haven't shipped a sticker to Greece yet. But it's it's crazy where you guys are snagging these stickers. And this, so I got this little globe to kind of like, wait, where's that at? And I can kind of look and check it out. Also, the, the, as Roman would say, the earth is cool. What's my favorite trick? I love them all. I just, the favorite, my favorite trick is the one that's best for the feature. Like some features are meant or, or have like a specific trick that it's like money on. And that trick or that, whatever that trick is. Okay, buddy. Okay. You want a pink marker? Yeah. Okay, buddy. Um, but whatever that feature is, whatever the trick that it's kind of designed for it to do best, when it's landed perfect, that's my favorite trick. When is the colorful ski sticker coming? All right. Give me a second. So I got all kinds of new looking snow camo all kinds of new vinyl that came in the mail mm -hmm. like turquoise green with gold in it and then like this like blue and gold color is insane green green electric is gonna be so sick so i ordered a bunch of these cool new vinyls I'm thinking, I do cut the vinyl myself, Andrew, and I pick it. I got so much work to do with these vinyls. But I'm thinking about dropping a specific color only in skier. Does that make sense? You guys hear the baby shark in the background? So like, this is like pink and turquoise. It's a really cool color. This one's like gold, black, and gray. This one's really sick. So maybe I will release a ski sticker that's the only like type of vinyl you can get is that. I also got the camo evolution back in. And I was so excited for these, especially if the Packers were going to go to the Super Bowl. But I found Green Bay Packer vinyl. Bobby did. I want to open this one. But so a Green Bay Packers vinyl sticker. Is gonna be coming out. That is David Jones's fingerboard behind me. I'm so proud of that kid. But there's gonna be a very limited amount of these that come out. But the Denver Bronco for all the Colorado ones out there. Because Bobby's dad is a diehard Bronco fan. He's also a major supporter of the channel. We love Robert. And so. Um, I'm going to make him a Denver Bronco evolution sticker. And if I decide to sell the Bronco one, there's only going to be a little bit of them. Uh, Alexander, I can backflip. I've backflipped in plenty of videos. Uh, in those envelopes you were just holding is mine in that pile. Uh, Jake, I didn't see yours in that pile, that pile. Email me and we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, so for the Packer one, there's also this green, green, golden. We'll find, we'll find out which. What time is it for me? It's only seven sixteen. It's almost Roman's bedtime. Yeah, Russell, the Bronco one. There will probably after I make the Bronco one, there will probably only be like eight to ten of the Bronco stickers available. Obviously, if it sells well or if it's a big popular maybe we could do all of the uh football team colors i don't have time for that bobby's <laughs> can i buy a sticker through venmo eric yeah you can they're seven dollars a sticker 
if you wanted to drop a drop the Venmo and put your full name, your address, and everything, you could buy a, a sticker through Venmo. We don't we don't do that often. I prefer if you guys use Etsy because if it disappears or doesn't show up and everything, Etsy has the, the ability for me to handle all that stuff correctly. But I'm so excited for all of these. Are the how are the big stickers? Dude, the, you can get any size sticker. If you want like the biggest, of, I can make up to 28 inch sticker. So if you want a huge evolution sticker, or a huge ski sticker, like DM me on the app and we can make a custom. Cause like I make the stickers myself. Like we'll come up with a price. We can, we can make it work for you. Yeah, you can pick a color too. I have like so many colors. The snow camo I need in large, LOL. Oh, Dan, I didn't get your other vinyl in yet. So if you want the snow camo, Dan, for your large one, we can make that happen. It only comes in a certain size with that. Yeah, he knows that. Okay. Yeah, he's gotten the large one before. Henry said, a few weeks ago I asked, uh, or a few weeks ago you were asking about Apple Watch app for tracking snowboarding i found one it's called slopes i'm gonna write that down henry let's go henry's got my back Slopes is an awesome app. Let's go. I'm trying to find a good pen. Oh, you don't need to. Well, I didn't know daddy, Roman used all my. Daddy, mm. come paint with me, daddy. You want me to come paint with you? Yeah. Noah says, What's the tattoo on your arm? What does it mean? So the tattoo on my arm says, uh, do not be shaped by this world, yeah. Romans 12, 2. Yeah. Uh, I've never been someone to follow the crowd or do what other people said and also to be told this is how it is and so deal with it. Like, I'm not that type of person. I think anything, can, like, a good example is, like, I'm not good enough to be a pro snowboarder. So many people will be like, you're not a pro. Like, you can't throw a triple cork. It's like, you're not in the X Games. You're not a pro. And it's like, well, I'm going to find my own way to be a professional snowboarder. I'm going to do my own thing so I can snowboard for a living. And um, the cool thing about it, too, is Romans 12, too. Well, my son's name is Roman. So um, and that's my interpretation of that verse. My buddy, Sean Oz, who called during the live stream earlier. Uh, Sean's the man. Sean, let me borrow his Insta 361 X2, which is probably why he was calling me uh, for the video is the guy that got my the tattoo. Somebody tattoo. Sean is the man. He's a super clean tattoo artist. These lines, like, it's, it's perfect. Dude, Sean's the man. Um, what are you going to do when... It's all good, Sean. You guys should apologize to everyone in the chat. We lost 40... You called, Sean? We lost 40 people. Uh, we haven't got back to that number since then, too. Oh, did someone ask that? No, I asked that. Well, we don't know the other. I don't even have my phone. Bobby found a new girl's name that she likes for baby number two. Elliot, I shared it earlier on the how to like the board slide tips. I'm gonna find that that video for you. Tips for a board slide. You want to watch this video right here, my dude. And then... Connor said, what made the Keep Evolving be your brand? I just thought it was a great idea. I thought it worked with Keep Evolving for not only... Um, like the logo is sick, obviously, but keep evolving, not only in your snowboarding, but through your life. Like if you go watch season one of this channel, you'll see, 
I'm a different person now. Like I'm not only more confident in what I'm doing with the channel and I've evolved with the channel and the videos have gotten better, but I've become, I went from being an employee to a business owner, an entrepreneur, like I've evolved and, and I've also became a dad. I wasn't a dad in the beginning of the YouTube channel. Now I'm a dad. Um, and so the whole idea is the, to evolve, get better, not only in your snowboarding, but in your entire life. Um, and also to just chase, uh, chase your dreams. Oh, I uh, hope I got you my, I'll, I'll drop my email address for you in the chat, my dude. Hope this is my email. Uh, dopest Lexi said after afternoon in Beaver Creek gets so slushy and all ridden out. Uh, catch first chair and back bowls. I agree. You got to get back there. It does get kind of springier slash slushier in like Beaver Creek and Vale. They're at a lower ele elevation. My daily driver is a Marhar I Archaic. I need a new snowboard, though. The one I'm riding right now is getting thrashed. Henry says, also, you listen to your fans for real because when I won this sticker a few weeks ago, I asked if I had a skier one even though I won a snowboard one. I got you, Henry. Uh -oh. I do my best. I do my best to reply to you guys. And the kids are going bye bye. I try to reply to the comments, all of them. I try to reply to the DMs. There's a lot of you. We're about to hit 60,000 subscribers. We can almost fill up a football stadium with subscribers. Like, that's a crazy thought. Uh, we're almost there. Most football stadiums can hold like 70,000. Um, but we're getting there, you know? Like, I'm really excited. Uh, for the channel growth, but with that, it, it does become harder to connect with you guys and answer all of you guys' questions, and I try my best. Just got some Pearl Wax too. Ethic, let's go. Uh, Pearlwax.com. Is where, if you need some snowboard wax, that's the place to go, and use code BUCK20 to save 20% off any snowboard wax you need. Now, the cool thing with Pearl Wax is it's eco-friendly. It doesn't hurt the environment. The other thing that's cool is you can buy a whole wax kit if you don't have, like, an iron for waxing, a scraper, a scraper sharpener. Um, they literally have everything you need on PearlWax.com and use code BUCK20 to save 20% off. Dan said, did you uh, get in contact with Yushin to go ride? He's a rad artist. Dan, not only did we go ride with Yushin, he did the heli day with us, he did the hike day with us, Yushin, or Yush is what I was calling him, is the man. We rode with him a lot. Like we We're going to ride with Yush a lot more, and he's an incredible artist. He is a, he's a glass blower, and it's what he can make is insane. Uh, do you like riding park or powder more? Lin, uh, Lita? It all depends. Like if I've been riding a lot of park, I'm like ready for some pow. I want to ride more pow more. If I've been riding a lot of pow, like I have the last couple of days, like I'm ready to ride some park. You should rent a football stadium and make a train park and have all the subscribers come. That would be insane. Uh, one thing I want to do, I think would be cool is make a snowboard movie, like film a snowboard movie, like a legit, like traditional snowboard movie. Like keep some clips from you guys from the season and everything. Yeah. Make a snowboard movie and then premiere it at like a obviously COVID can't be a thing, but like premiere it at a bar or a restaurant and you guys come. So we'll get a venue. You don't have to buy tickets because venues cost money, but get a venue. You guys show up and we all watch it together and it's like a meet and greet slash premiere. Could be so sick. I bet this thing. Oh, Sean, dude, I believe it. You're a much better snowboarder than you think you are, Sean. You just like to hide behind your age. Uh, Marcia says, what color sticker should I get uh, um, if my helmet is gray and my coat is dark blue? 
Ooh. I mean, the white sticker would pop and match. You could get um, a yellow, gray, blue, and yellow. That doesn't look terrible. Steven says, what is my favorite sticker? Ooh. I think my favorite sticker... is this circle keep evolving sticker. I think this one's my favorite. Double check Venmo and Streamlabs, make sure I didn't miss any donations. I did just get one on Venmo. <laughs> Oof. You okay? He's he's getting super tired. Mark with a huge twenty dollar donation on Venmo, dude. Thank you so much for the twenty bomb. And all he said was love the channel, Mark. I appreciate it so much, man. That twenty dollars goes further than you know, and I'm stoked that you love the channel. Um, I'm stoked that you guys tune in every single day and watch the video that I post. Even with the how to ride a tow rope video hit like. 6,000 views, which is insane. That 6,000 people watched How to Ride a Tow Rope. Oh, uh, One Shot Kid said, R.I. is uh, Rhode Island. Have you ever wakeboarded slash or surfed? Elliot, I've never surfed. I've gone wakeboarding in Fruta down in Colorado. It's so sick. I love wakeboarding. But as for surfing, I haven't tried it. I want to try surfing. So whoever can surf and has the stuff, like, let's go. Uh, Ethics said, I learned my 180s from you, Jonathan. Just watching so many of your videos has helped. Let's go, Ethic. I love to hear that. I do how to. I do have a how to frontside and backside 180 video too. If you guys are trying to learn your 180s, those videos are made. Just type in how to 180 Jonathan Buckhouse and the video will pop up. Pop up. Pop up. Shake, 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 Hi, right, Sean. I'll, I'll call you at this live stream to talk to you about the camera and everything so I can get it back to you. Uh, downhill performance tuning, a.k.a. Dan the Man Ryan, a.k.a. Dan the Iron Man, uh, said, I'm going to be wakeboarding in Fruta this summer, bro. My parents just moved to Grand Junction. All right, Dan, let's go. Let's do it. It's, wakeboarding so much like snowboarding, you guys would not believe it. Uh, Jake, I saw that you dropped the email. I'll check it out after the live stream, my dude. Just got my first Solomon Hawk knife. Let's go. Ted said, Roman needs to sleep so he can shred tomorrow. Roman needs to sleep because he shredded today. The dude's tired. Daniel uh, said, also, after you got uh, guys left, they got a lift working yesterday, and I finally hit a jump. Daniel, let's go. I was bummed that we had to leave, so the little ski resort, the second smallest one in Colorado, shut down. Like the, the lift shut down and it was kind of like we could wait. We were only going to ride 30 more minutes and it was just like, nah, let's get out of here and just kind of get a jump on the drive. Uh, Henry says, hi, I'm back and I'm 11 years old. I got my first Switch 180 Iron Cross tail grab. What? He says, are you watching Winter X Games? And sadly, Sean White is not competing. Oh, he's not? Um, I, uh, I like Sean White. A lot of people don't like Sean White. I actually like Sean White. I have Luke with a $20 super chat, dude. Thank you so much, man, for dropping the insane super chat. And he said, love your videos. I appreciate it so much. To me, that means so much that you get enough value from my channel that you're willing to drop $20 and just say, I love your videos, dude. That means a lot to me. So thank you so much, man. Stoked you're enjoying it uh, for sure. When's the mono ski video? Ooh, me and Daniel are talking about filming it on Thursday. Right, Daniel? Thursday? We still good? Mono ski? I think I'm going to tear up the mono ski. I uh, just landed an air nose grab and earned that hat. Thanks for the inspiration. Let's go. 
Have you considered starting a Patreon? Andrew, I have a Patreon. And I am so guilty of not being active on it. I feel bad for all my Patreons, but I appreciate them so much. They are how we truly get to do this. All the Patreons and members, if you're interested in checking out my Patreon right here, all of the shred days, like my Patreon was built a lot, built around snowboarding with me as like a community, like group shreds and one-on-one -on -one shred days and stuff like that. But because of COVID, we're not doing any of those. And I just have not been active on my Patreon and I'm, I feel bad. No live stream yawns. I can't keep them away forever. Column says, when are you going to Jackson? So we were looking up hotels for Jackson. For like Bobby and Roman to come with me to Jackson Hole. And it is so expensive. And so like for four nights out there, it was going to be like 600 bucks or something. So I told Bobby, I was like, hey. Jackson Hole is going to have to be like a bro trip and we're going to have to cram like four dudes in a hotel to make it affordable. So sadly, we're not doing Jackson. I mean, we're going to do Jack. Oh, Bobby keeps saying she's going to go to Jackson. Jackson Hole, it's just so expensive to go to Jackson Hole. I have a place in Wolf Ridge if you want to come. Hope, where's Wolf Ridge? Andrew says, have I ever thought of becoming an instructor? Andrew, I don't want to become an instructor because I love snowboarding for myself. I don't mind teaching people through the videos, but I don't want to spend my a whole day teaching someone how to snowboard. And I also don't want to have a boss and I don't want to be told what type of lessons to do and where I can ride and all that stuff like that. Like, uh, thankfully I, I, I got to snowboard for a living without having to be an instructor. I, I don't, I don't like teaching that much. Like I guess I'd rather just show up on the mountain and do whatever I want to do. Um, that being said, snowboard camp is when I do get to become an instructor and I get to teach you guys how to snowboard. And I am a pretty solid instructor. So if you want to learn from me for snowboarding, you have one chance, two chances, two weeks in June in Oregon, in Mount Hood, a unicorn of a mountain. Come to snowboard camp and you'll learn so much. Justin Johns is in the house. What's up? Uh, shirt, pants. Mm -hmm. uh, one shot kid. I definitely want to go surfing. It'll be a ton of fun. What is your favorite mountain to ride on? Justin, whatever mountain has snow. When's the heli snowboard video coming out tomorrow? If I get it fully edited and done. If I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. These video, the heli video is going to be heli and hike video are going to be hard to edit. They're going to be fun though. I filmed a lot in 360. Alex said, I love watching your videos. I can't wait to upgrade some of my set up next season. Alec, dude, heck yeah. Getting new gear is so much fun. And at a certain point, as you start becoming a better snowboarder, the gear can help you become a better snowboarder. So I'm sorry that you're going to be upgrading your gear as you continue snowboarding. Daddy, stop. Sorry, right, I'm trying to find good questions. Ethic said, I just realized I watched no, you so much. Huh? Uh, no one says, want to ride a pow day, but scared to drive to Keystone on the days it snows. Dude, I don't blame you because it's a mess, man. I-70 is super dangerous, so I, I get you on that. Ellie says, I hope I can donate support the dream uh, in the future streams. Ellie, dude, don't even worry about it, man. If you guys can't financially support the channel, that's fine. If, as long as you're watching the videos, you can share the videos. All of that helps support the channel. 
I'll come, I'll come in your room in a minute, buddy, okay? Hey, Jonathan, do you know what the Department of Glacier Building is? Jack, Jack dude, do you know? That's the real question. What's the what's your favorite train park you've ever ridden or what is your favorite features? I love a flat down rail. I think flat down rail is my favorite type of rail. And favorite snowboard park that I've ever ridden would have to be Keystone a couple years ago. Had an insane park. Uh Yun Neo, Neo says, Jonathan, I was curious why I can do back side 180s better than front side 180s. I ride regular, by the way. Uh, young Neo, it's because you're more comfortable popping off your toes than your heels. Um, something that you could try to do is maybe do more of an ollie to your 180 than just popping off your heels for your front side 180. That might make you like your front side 180 more. But the reason why you like your back side 180 more than you like your um, front side is popping off your heels is uncomfortable. As a human, when we jump into the air, we jump off our toes. Try to stand up and jump off your heels. It's really weird. That's why a lot of people struggle with front side rotations. Justin, dude, with a $20 super chat. Didn't even type anything. Just dropped $20. Dude, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. It's a huge donation. Make sure I didn't miss anything else. Oh, Justin wrote... Where's the best place to live in Summit County? Ooh, I personally think Silverthorne because it's next to the Target. Um, it's really close to Frisco. You have the movie theater in, in, it's in Dillon, but technically in, Dillon and Silverthorne are like the same town. Um, it's close to the movie theater. It's close to the bowling alley. Uh, it's close to all the fast food restaurants slash like the regular restaurants, not just the, the mom and pop kind of expensive sit down restaurants. It's the most, Silverthorne in Summit County is the most, like a city and i grew me and bobby grew up in colorado springs like a really big city um so it feels more like what we grew up in um so that's why we like silverthorn we're trying to move out of this apartment and move into a house and don't get bobby started with all that it's it's a challenge obviously i make my living on the internet which doesn't make anything easy um we love to buy a place but it's super expensive this is one of the most expensive counties in the u.s it's super expensive to live up here but we're working on it we're gonna figure it out if you have a house up here and you want to rent it to us hit me up <laughs> long-term renter here we go have you ever considered snowboarding with snowboard pro camp yeah dude um kevin is a me and kevin are boys what is the best way to learn a backside board slide um I've shared this video a couple times in this live stream. A lot of you guys are, I'm going to put it, probably put it on my Instagram with how many um, people are asking. But if you want to learn your backside board slide, that's the video for you. One shot kid, dude. Have a good night, man. Thanks for jumping on the channel. Good luck with school. Get good grades. I, I slept all through school, but I, I learned a lot in my sleep. I dreamt this. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't even know how you... How I'm, how I'm doing this, despite sleeping all the way through school? No, I'm surprised you got the thing that you got sleeping through school. Like some of the best grades? Yeah. Sleeping through class? Yeah. Because I'm clever. Oh, that was Red Spartan with the dollar thirty or dollar thirty donation, dude. Thank you so much for the donation. You didn't write anything, but I appreciate the donation. Uh, Landon said, "How long did it take you to hit a rail, not a box?" Uh, two years of snowboarding. I think it took me until I was like, "I'm sending it." And then forever, us said, "How old are you?" Should I tell him, babe? I'm old. I'm super old. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn really old this year. I'm 29, and in April I turn 30. I look young. I send it. Dan, uh, Dan the man says 25. Nope, I'm 30. Your hair is receding a little bit. It is not. <laughs> Still a little bit. 
Have you ever boarded in Japan? If so, what's your favorite place? I've not gone to Japan yet, but we hope to get there. Dude, Jack Wagner, yeah, 60 subs soon. We'll be there before we know it. Bro, I'm gonna be 35 this year, I'm old. Nah, Dan, the man, we're young. Age is a mindset. You're like 10. When's Roman's birthday? October 21st, 2017. How did you get over the fear of catching your edge when going fast? Uh, Linda, Lida? Lead, Not gonna lie, sometimes, depending on how fast I go, I still think like, oh, if I catch an edge, I'm gonna die. Um, it just comes with confidence. The only way to get better at snowboarding is to snowboard more. The more you snowboard, the more confident you get. When you get confidence, you then can try other things. I will say that there, with action sports in general, skateboarding, rollerblading, skiing, snowboarding, there is a point where you have to be okay with risking your body, knowing that what you want to do next in the sport may cause injury. You have to be okay with that. You have to kind of come to terms with like, I want to learn a 360 on a 25-foot jump. I could die. I could break my arm. I could break my leg. I could break my neck. I'm okay with that. I'm going to send it because it's probably not going to happen. There's always that chance, but you got to send it. Uh, you got to do it afraid. There's always that time where you got to do it, do it scared. Oh, man. You give, like, the worst advice. It's not the worst advice. It's great advice. I don't think that's good advice. Jesse says, Alec, enjoy life. Trust me, you'll find out. Don't absolutely need college to achieve happiness in life. I never finished college. I did a lot of college. Yeah. Not two credits, two classes. It's a couple credits. But I could do it, but there's no reason. I'd go spend the money and get a degree that I'm not never going to use. I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn this into a very successful business. That's the, that's the plan. Tarek Brown with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, my dude. Love the channel. I'm 40, still sending it. Hope Benton is okay. Benton is great, guys. Don't worry about Benton. I don't even want to talk about Benton. No, nah, Benton's fine. Um... He has to take it easy, though, even though he doesn't want to. And says, loving the channel. Uh, I'm 40 and still sending it. Dude, I love that so much, dude. Tom Brady's 40 and he's over 40. He's in the Super Bowl. Beat my Packers. I'm pissed. <laughs> Thanks for the $10 Super Chat, uh, Tarek. By the way, if you're in the... Because uh, Lamb Soup said, woo, 40 club. If you're over the age of 40 and you're interested in going to snowboard camp, we could bunch the 40 year olds together and kind of do like a 40 or older camp. If enough of you guys want to go to snowboard camp and get better at snowboarding, um, how I've, many, how many people? Like five? we're doing 10 people per week. Um, so bro, I'm 40 in October. Dan, no way. Dan, I thought you were in your twenties, dude. Dan, the man or Dan's beard, who is also the man, Dan's beard, the man, uh, is sick. We're gonna be riding with Dan on the 18th. Of February. It's still, it's January 31st, right? Yes. Yeah, Dude, we still have so much of the season left. Justin Johns is 38 right here. But we could do an older, try and get the older people to kind of do the same week for summer camp. Uh, which could, I mean, obviously, if you get your ages closest together, uh, it would be sick. 55, would love to get out to camp. Yeah, NH local, dude, come to camp. Like, don't let your age, don't be like, oh, I'm 55, I can't come to summer camp. If you come to camp, we're going to cover carving, we're going to be covering buttering, we're going to be covering ollies, we're going to cover rails and boxes and small jumps and big jumps and 360s, 180s, 720s. Literally, we can cover everything at snowboard camp. That's the best part about camp. Everybody's going to get one-on-one one, one, one time with me as well as the other coach that will be at camp. Also, Michael, the ski doctor will be at camp. Benton's claiming he's going to be at camp. Summer camp's going to be sick. I'm not going to be at camp. Bobby will not be at camp because she will be about to burst. Literally, summer camp's happening right before baby number two shows up. So, so if I like have to disappear and take a phone call because <laughs> Bobby's not happy, uh, it's because she's super duper pregnant. Yeah, I'll be like, like a balloon, mm -hmm. which is bummer. That's the coolest part of the pregnancy is yeah. when you're like, when like you're so tight you can't even push the belly in. Is that the coolest part? It doesn't give. It's just baby. Oh, my gosh. 
Are the gloves you're wearing still good and very cold? Oh, Jack, my gloves are the best gloves out there. They're good and cold. They're good and warm. They, they don't rip on tow ropes. Um, Elevation Supply Co. gloves. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? It's the first link in the gear. If you need gloves... Like, honestly, if you need a good pair of gloves, if your gloves are, like, you're like on the fence, like, I don't know if these are good gloves. They probably suck, and you need to get these gloves. For a camp, would you be able to to teach how to do jumps for beginners? Yeah, Logan, exactly. Like, that's why camp is a thing. It's to teach you guys, beginners, how to hit jumps. Even if you can, you're can, you ready to throw, like, your first 720, that all will be available. There'll be coaches. There'll be me to coach you, as well as, I guess I'm having an assistant coach with me who will be able to, to once again, teach any of the higher levels. What we did last year is I'd spend a day with the beginner coaches and then Tommy would do with the um, more advanced and then we swap and then we swap. And so everyone's, we're rotating coaches and everyone's getting time with everyone and everyone's learning. Um, and then we did a bunch of group stuff. Every day ended with the whole group together working on a skill together. Uh, Justin said, riding with Jonathan only two times upped my game significantly he didn't give me any tips. Just keep up. <laughs> yeah, Justin, that's because Justin has, um, we met up with him a couple times at Breck to Rip and we were still making, like, we we're making vlogs and everything. It wasn't camp. So yeah, I was just like, all right, Justin, you want to rip with us? Like, let's go. This is what we're doing. This is how fast we're riding. Let's go. And just, dude, Justin kills it. What's the worst wipeout you've ever had? I uh, jacked my back up, knuckling a jump with my butt. I'd say that's my worst one. The concussion I had this year at the beginning of the season was really bad too. I didn't get, I didn't fall asleep like Benton did, but um, same type of fall. It rocked my world. We haven't had a concussion like that before. What's up? We haven't had a concussion like that before. Yeah, I've never. I've got like minor concussions, but I never got rocked like that. That, that rocked my world. Any plans for next year? Porter, dude, he's already planning the next season. I got nothing for next year. Um, I do know when the baby comes, I'll probably still get videos posted, but like when the baby comes, I'm going to do what most people do when they have a baby and take paternity leave, paternity leave. Help Bobby with the baby. Try not to make my wife. Try not to, not, try not to lose my wife. Yeah, try to make it so I can travel next season. <laughs> How many snowboards do you own? Gavin asked. I think I have like 12 snowboards. Uh, that's a lie. You think it's more? Like you have like a whole... I have a cabinet. whole hallway full of snowboards. You can make a wall of snowboards, literally. Nathan, dude, you really think I'm going to fall for that? Come on, Nathan Jones. Yeah, I'm a huge Packer fan. All right, I think the chat's kind of dying down. Are we good? Do we have any donations? Dude, um, Dan, when I, like, finally get the warehouse and, like, the indoor snow dome, whatever, we'll have a wall of snowboards, and we'll have, like, I can't wait, man. I can't wait for it. Like, obviously, when you're doing something like this, the journey is the funnest part. But I can't wait for the end game as well when we have like our own tow rope backyard park slash indoor snow dome facility with rental shop and I don't know, like all these crazy dreams I have in my head. I can't wait. Uh, Benjamin, my day has been sick. All right, guys, I think I'm going to jump off the live stream now. This was a sick live stream. We killed it. Um, thank you for all those donations. Don't forget that we have the pink camo evolution sticker is now available for anyone that likes pink and the marble evolution sticker. These were the last of the first wave of like cool vinyl that I purchased. The new vinyl I purchased 
after I kind of figured out what you guys were more looking for in vinyl, is going to be sick. Um, Dan, man, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, so these are available. They're on the store. Any Evolution stickers, if you buy them tonight, they're going live, or I'm sh writing them tonight and shipping them out. But uh, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you for all the donations. You guys are incredible. Um, the Heli video, if I get it edited tonight, it's dropping tomorrow. It's going to be sick. I'm going to work my butt off on that edit. But uh, with that, team up, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow uh, with another video. Hold on. Justin said, oh, we can go to J Japan. My business partner lives in Tokyo. All right, Justin Johns, let's go to Japan. All right, see you guys.